Greetings, welcome back to my channel, Anastasia Bliss. I am your guide on the awakening journey. Uh, today we're gonna to talk about Kundalini and a lifestyle. Um, yeah, how is Kundalini lifestyle different than maybe a lifestyle before Kundalini? We're gonna get into that. What things that you can do to refine your lifestyle so that you are getting the most out of this spiritual maturation that we are all going through. We are going through, yes, the age of Aquarius and the transits that take us to this place, but it's really just a journey of the Kundalini awakening in the human, which just means Divine Mother Shakti is awakening in each, other, each one of us. Remember the Mother Energy, the Divine Feminine is the mystical. It is the vast unknown. It is the knowing before the knowing. It is the deep intuitive waters that remembers and accesses healing and divine compassion and love and abundance, okay? So we're moving from a limited construct to this state. So as we get into this today, um, maybe you wanna take some notes. Um, I'm just gonna make this video uh, brief, so, um, and potent, okay? If you like this video, please like it and please share it. That really helps me out. So, as I was saying, we're going from an, an old paradigm, an old reality, and we can see those structures breaking down externally. We can see the political, we can see the healthcare, we can see all of the different structures going through their own metamorphosis, a breakdown, a release of the old. If you wanna look at the collective chakras clearing out, abundance and money and resources are all root chakra issues. Those are all transforming in the collective. So we can see that this is occurring. This is occurring for each one of us individually in our own way. So the old way we related to money, home, safety, security, basic needs, our relationship to that concept is transforming. So yoga, and kundalini awakening is a lifestyle where we recognize we were doing certain things that supported a previous pattern of living, maybe one that was constricted. If you're living in a more poverty mindset, maybe you only ate certain things or you restricted certain things and you didn't give yourself certain things. So as that awareness evolves with the awakening process, you begin to notice what you value what is what sustains your life? What is um, the unique expression of what feels like home to you? And it's gonna be different for everybody. What feels like home to one person will not feel like home to someone else. And there's nothing wrong with either person. It's just they're discovering their authentic identity, which is what a Kundalini awakening does, is it helps you refine your values. And, and what is highest priority for you. And that's gonna be based on your soul mission, of course, what you're here to do, what certain things are for you foremost. And so each chakra is going through this. So that means each area of your life right now gets to be looked at and shifted. You know, maybe you like soft blankets, but you've never really given yourself soft blankets. Um, you love to be in a bed of warm blankets. We have these itchy and scratchy ones. They're just what you have. Well, this time might be asking you to get some luxurious softness. Even you can get that at the thrift store. Like go run them through the wash and, you know, put some essential oils in there or whatever and like give them a fresh start. Renew them. Uh, a lot of the planetary configuration is really asking us to see what's already there. What's already in the collective. That doesn't mean you don't have to go buy something, but maybe reuse something like a, a thrift store or a upcycle or a, a clothing swap um, household goods exchange could be coming up because what one person values maybe they used to value it but it's just not up for them anymore you know that can happen with our closets and our you know clothing and our toothpaste we used to like it but now we don't it's still decent you know or plates in our kitchen or whatever it is um, we might be feeling that upgrade. So Kundalini lifestyle means you have a lifestyle that is supportive of the state of consciousness that you are moving into. So these are initiations along the pathway and it doesn't make anything that you're not valuing now wrong. Remember, so if someone else is valuing that, that doesn't mean they're 
wrong. It might be misaligned for you and energetics, or it could just be learning to value that now they value it and it's good for them. Passing on clothing that you loved to someone else and now they get to love it. That's a perfect expression of, you know, supporting the Kundalini lifestyle. So you're beginning to have relationships too that support the level of consciousness that you're at and where you are trying to uh, resonate. Um, and there might be some trial and error with that as we look at the options that are presented to us in this journey. Remember, the more we awaken to the truth of who we are, the more of this God force, this Shakti, this Ma energy frequency, Kundalini runs through the system, then the more things will come at us and be attracted to that beauty, like moss to a flame, right? And so then it is the discernment process of, is this an alignment with where I'm going? Is this still a lesson I need to learn? Is this a karmic thing? And we get to decide if we're gonna engage those things. If we do feel like there's something still to go through, I mean, intuitively you would know. Um, if you know that it's something you're repeating and you should stay away, then also listen to yourself on that. That's a yogic lifestyle. The kind of music you listen to, you know, like where you are geographically can be part of your yogic lifestyle. And remember, it's transforming as you are. So I hope that is helpful. Um, maybe take stock this weekend and or the next few days and look at all the areas of your life. I love to use a feng shui chart and just those are great areas to look at. So your personal self-study, your family, your abundance, your um, reputation, your home and health, um, your career, like what you're doing currently for work, the friends you have around you, and the, the places that you live, and also your children and creativity, and your relationships. If we take stock of all of these areas and we look at how what we're valuing now, um, Dr. Demartini has a great values test online. If you go to Demartini, I think it's just dot com, um, he has like a values test and it'll show you a pie chart of your highest values based on this quiz that you do and it's free. And I do it really often and notice that my values do change as we fill one area and we become full of it, then we begin to radiate it. And now maybe we value something else. So. Thanks for jumping on and visiting my channel again. I hope to see you here again. If this has helped you out, please share it. I love you so much. And if you would like a session or know more about what I do, please visit my website down below or send me an email, which is also down below. Okay, much love.